The title to my special order tonight is Current Conditions or Just a Bad Dream. Could it all be a bad dream or a nightmare? Is it my imagination or have we lost our minds? It's surreal. It's just not believable. A grand absurdity, a great deception, a delusion of momentous proportions. Based on preposterous notions and on ideas whose time should never have come, simplicity grossly distorted and complicated, insanity passed off as logic, grandiose schemes built on falsehoods with the morality of Ponzi and Madoff, evil described as virtue, ignorance pawned off as wisdom, destruction and impoverishment in the name of humanitarianism, Violence, the tool of change. Preventive war is used as a road to peace. Tolerance delivered by government guns. Reactionary views in the guise of progress. An empire replacing the republic. Slavery sold as liberty. Excellence and virtue traded for mediocrity. Socialism to save capitalism. A government out of control unrestrained by the Constitution, the rule of law or morality, bickering over petty politics as we add into chaos. The philosophy that destroys us is not even defined. We have broken from reality, a psychotic nation, ignorance with a pretense of knowledge replacing wisdom. Money does not grow on trees, nor does prosperity come from a government printing press or escalating deficits. We're now in the midst of unlimited spending of the people's money, exorbitant taxation, deficits of trillions of dollars spent on a failed welfare, warfare system, an epidemic of cronyism, unlimited supplies of paper money equated with wealth, a central bank that deliberately destroys the value of the currency in secrecy, without restraint, without nary a whimper. Yet, cheered on by the pseudo-capitalists of Wall Street, the military-industrial complex, and Detroit, we police our world empire with troops on 700 bases and in 130 countries around the world. A dangerous war now spreads throughout the Middle East and Central Asia, Thousands of innocent people being killed as we become known as the torturers of the 21st century. We assume that by keeping the already known torture pictures from the public's eye, we will be remembered only as a generous and good people. If our enemies want to attack us only because we are free and rich, proof of torture would be irrelevant. The sad part of all this is that we have forgotten what made America great, good, and prosperous. We need to quickly refresh our memories and once again reinvigorate our love, understanding, and confidence in liberty. The status quo cannot be maintained considering the current conditions. Violence and lost liberty will result without some revolutionary thinking. We must escape from the madness of crowds now gathering. The good news is the reversal is achievable through peaceful and intellectual means, and fortunately, the number of those who care are growing exponentially. Of course, it could all be a bad dream, a nightmare, and that I'm seriously mistaken, overreacting, and that my worries are unfounded. I hope so, but just in case, we ought to prepare ourselves for revolutionary changes in the not-too-distant future.